I can tell you this right now, Couture versus Lesnar will be the biggest fight in UFC history. Mark my words on this one. Randy, the natural. One of the most popular fighters in MMA history. That's the baddest dude on the planet. An inspirational athlete. Unbelievable. And the heavyweight champion of the world. Takes on wrestling powerhouse. Brock so big. And rising star Brock Lesnar. It's the physical strength that Brock Lesnar has is so hard to deal with. This monster walks around at 300 pounds, but has the speed of a 155 pounder. This is an amazing heavyweight battle. For the heavyweight crowd. We're gonna show Randy Couture that you're just too damn old to be here. I'm used to hearing that, it always makes me smile. Not bad for an old man. The countdown to UFC 91 starts now. climb back into the UFC's octagon, a 45-year-old heavyweight champ, a mixed martial art legend, against this guy, rising superstar Brock Lesnar, and we are pleased to welcome you. It is UFC 91. If you're a fan, casual or otherwise, it is not a fight to be missed. Randy Couture, Brock Lesnar, how do you see it going, Randy? Well, I think it's going to be a very interesting fight. Obviously, Brock poses some interesting problems. He's very big, very athletic guy. I am younger than him. <laughs> I am bigger and I am stronger. He's faced those uh, demons before, but I don't think quite the demon that I am. Randy is a competitor. He's a pioneer of this sport. He's a nice guy. I like Randy. But he's got something that I dearly want, and that's the UFC heavyweight title. Plain and simple. I think it's a huge opportunity for him. I don't think he expected, you know, within three fights to, to be fighting for the heavyweight title. Come on, drive it up. Drive it up. I think Brock's a little bit too young to be in the position that he's in right now to, to get a shot at the heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah. You can't put the word experience by Brock Lesnar in UFC. You just can't do it. I know that. He hasn't been in these fights where he has to question himself. He hasn't been in a five-round war. Randy has. Randy Couture is an animal. They said the same thing about Heath Herring. You know, 50 fights was going to totally dominate a guy with two fights, and you look what happened. Heath Herring is getting battered. Those knees to the body are brutal. Randy's ground skills are very good. Brock, he's inexperienced on the ground. You don't learn that in six months or whatever he's got in. You just don't. I really do think that the size and the speed and the athletic ability of Brock is really going to be seen in this fight. I think it's going to take a very big toll on Randy. Randy's got to push around a guy that's 275 pounds that night and he's coming in at 220, 225 pounds. How do I beat another wrestler, a guy that has the same kind of background and strength that I'm used to relying on? That's intriguing to me. And uh, that's what gets me up in the morning to go to the gym. And that's what makes me bring in a bunch of big beasts to gang up on me every day. But few men can truly imitate Brock Lesnar. Brock is really I think in a league of his own as far as being that big and that fast. A good big man will whip a good little man. I'm not making any predictions, but uh, I feel confident in Brock. Saying that a good big man beats a little man is ridiculous. If we go back to the beginning of the sport. We're looking at a big size difference here. Oh. That's just not true. If the big guy is as technical and as mentally fit and as well-rounded, maybe you could say that, but Brock's not. All right, first one, three, two, 
Long go, 15 seconds. Randy's been there, he's been to the big show. You know, this isn't his first rodeo. He's been able to control a lot of people because he's a great wrestler. He won't be able to control me. He won't be able to control Brock Lesnar. We're gonna shut him down. Brock's never been put under the pressure or put under the heat like of what Randy will put on him. He just hasn't. And if I can describe Randy, I guess, in one word, the word that comes to my mind is relentless. Randy is a different machine. I've never seen anybody with a heart like him. In his last fight, Brock Lesnar surprised Heath Herring with his striking. That's good for me to see. I had no illusions that the guy was just going to stand there and try and take me down without trying to punch and, and all those things first. He's a huge guy. If I was that big, I'd be trying to punch guys in the face for sure. Brock's a great athlete. There's no question about that. He's won a national championship. And I don't ever want to be disrespectful to anybody, but this isn't the WWE, and this is for real. He's a guy who goes 20 years of wrestling, knows how to use his body, and now he's gaining submission skills. He's the real deal. Big knees. He's turning on now. I'm going to win that night. Randy Couture is going to be a stepping stone for Brock Lesnar. I don't I don't understand that and why you would say something like that. I don't see Randy Couture as a stepping stone for anyone. This stepping stone is going to punch you in the face. This stepping stone is going to break your will. And a big down by Couture. Is Brock ready for that? I don't think so. It's going to be a war, and I think at the end of the day, we can expect Randy Couture to be raised hand as the undisputed heavyweight champion again. Heavyweight champion! What a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm going to seize the moment and I'm going to seize that UFC heavyweight title. People want to tune in is because they keep thinking that this old guy's going to get beat up finally. I'm going to do my best to make sure that doesn't happen. Sits a nondescript warehouse deep in the Minnesota wilderness. It's just isolation, and it's easier to control the environment when it's an enclosed camp, and we're in here for one reason, and that's to beat Randy Couture. He's gonna want his time to train and try to, you know, keep away and keep a little bit private. <laughs> There's not all this other bullshit going on around me. I don't have people that I don't like in my gym. This is my facility, and if you want to be a part of it, I will handpick you, and that's just the way that I like it. I like to do things on my own. You don't really need much makeup. Did you hear that? I don't need much makeup. You don't need much makeup. Couture was in there for 45 minutes. I know. She's out of materials. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the airbrush. <laughs> you can't fix this face, man. Have you been airbrushed? Have I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One pinstripe. Exactly. <laughs> Is pink a new UFC color, though? <laughs> mm -hmm. You're going to need a bigger gun to do that whole head. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? South Dakota. For the first 17 years of Brock's life, home was a small dairy farm in rural South Dakota. Webster has roughly uh, 1,900 people. Very small. On a dairy farm, the cows have to get milked, and the cows got to get fed, and the barn's got to stay clean. There's always something to do. He's very physical as a, as a young individual. I'm just the kind of guy, I don't want to know I mean, what if. I just, I just want to know if there was something that I thought that I could lift. Nice. You know, I wanted to at least try. Good. Brock, he loved carrying calves, moving animals around. At a very young age, I was lifting my brother's weights, and I had like three hernias before I was like even eight years old. I was a little husky bruiser, you know. The ice cream truck showed up, and I was at the back of the line. 
I was fighting my way to get to the front of the line before he left, that's for sure. I didn't make any friends. Life's not about making friends. During the school year, Brock fought on the wrestling mat, but the future superstar didn't yet have his hulking physique. In high school, he had athletic ability, but he just didn't tap into it, to his fullest potential. I think I was just a late bloomer, you know? When I graduated high school, I was 208 pounds and six feet tall. I just kept lifting weights and kept it in my mind that I, I was better than who I was. Brock attended Bismarck Junior College in North Dakota, and the transformation began. He had put on, just in one year, like uh, 40 pounds. He just he grew tremendously. His physical capability just, it just blew me away, how fast and how strong he got. We were at a tournament with the University of Minnesota, and he was there as a junior college wrestler. And I don't know if I've ever seen or have seen since a heavyweight that looked like that. He looked like a 157-pound wrestler, but he was just twice the size. He was an amazing specimen. I remember somebody asking him, what do you bench? And he said, whatever I want. And he was explosive, and his intensity was incredible. And we knew that if any other Division I schools got their eyes on him, we'd be in a big, big recruiting war. The University of Minnesota quickly signed Brock to a scholarship, and he didn't disappoint. He immediately set the world on fire. He just made it look so easy, his man handling the guys, his speed, his strength. I went on to become a Big Ten champion and then runner-up in the NCAA for the Gophers and then finally an NCAA title. After winning a national wrestling championship at Minnesota, Brock Lesnar joined the WWE. He's from a small farm in South Dakota, and, and of course the WWE came to him and offered him a nice contract that he, he couldn't refuse. I had a $250,000 contract sitting on a table with a signing bonus, and it was just a no-brainer. Brock became one of the most popular pro wrestlers in the world, but there was a price to pay. The devil is constantly pounding on the door when you're on the road and away from home, and you're in a different town every night. I was living a dirty life. 